nothing like a bit of team clean start a video off with. Hey guys, Mike Freakout, and this is a stress test video, see if it can actually live commentary with gameplay in the background. So when it comes to release day and doing my other videos, everything will be a lot easier and a lot smoother. This video is obviously about Blackout. Today is the last day of the Blackout beta and we've got 24 days until the full game comes out. Yes, I am counting down because I'm actually genuinely excited about Black Ops 4. Now, I'm a Battle Royale noob. I played one game of Fortnite and I played a couple of games of PUBG. So why this game? Why am I choosing to make a video on this game? Why am I choosing to talk about it? That's because I actually put hours into it. I played 87 games, most of them solo, 13 top 5 wins, and 2 actual wins. One win was solo, and most of my top 5s were all solo. And what made me keep coming back to this? One is a first person shooter. I'm very partial to a first person shooter. A lot of people who know me know this. But the big thing was the map. The map had a lot of nostalgia for me. I've been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops 1. And some of the maps that have been placed into this big blackout map brought me feelings back, brought me what I thought of the old games back, and sort of trapped me in there. Like, for example, with Raid and with Estate, I should really call it the blackout map names unless people actually know what I'm on about, but part of Estate is Raid from Black Ops 2. And I found myself, a lot of the time, being in there, and thinking I can't get out of the map because I'd suddenly be absorbed back into Black Ops 2. And then suddenly I can get out and like, oh, I'm actually playing Blackout. I'm not I'm not actually in the multiplayer bit. Doing the same call outs as you would do in the old multiplayer. Asylum, which is the rock from World at War. Very good zombie map. Same sort of thing. You jump in there and you're really nostalgic. And you're thinking to yourself, I miss this map. And then you realise you don't have World at War. Well, thank you to Treyarch for bringing back the old maps on Black Ops 3 because I did purchase them so I went and played Verruckt and it just reminded me of how much I, enjo I enjoyed Treyarch games themselves. There's a strange gun balance in this game though. Now I played a lot of the multiplayer beta and everyone knows what the best guns are in that game. Everyone knows what guns are dominant. But the gun balance is different in Blackout. Everyone, some people turn around and say the Swordfish is the best gun in the game. Some people turn around and say the Maddox is. Some people say the Snipers. For me, I can't really choose. I didn't find a gun I genuinely disliked. Maybe the Spitfire because it's kind of useless. But I kept going back between using the ICR, the Vapor, and the Swordfish. They were my three go-to guns. Whereas some people were saying the Maddox is the best in the game. And I can agree with them. I don't think there was a standout gun in there. They were all very similar. Some worse than others, some better than others. Maybe it could do with some tweaking, maybe to balance everything out. But we will see what Treyarch do. A lot of people have noticed and said there was a graphics issue. This is a beta. Well, this isn't the full game. A lot of people are saying, oh, on the PS4 Pro, it looks shit. On the Xbox One X, it looks shit. It looks phenomenal on PC. It's a beta. It's a 30 gig beta because it had the multiplayer and blackout in it. The full game is going to be like 60, 70 gig. You aren't going to get the best graphics in it because it is a beta. It's a demo. People are looking at the minor details that will be improved upon release. Now, for people that care about graphics, this will be a big thing, but you're crying about it a month before the game. Stop it. It will be improved. It will look phenomenal. But the things to improve on this, what can Treyarch do better? One thing is the armor. The armor is ridiculous. We need to take out level 1 and level 3 armor and just have level 2 in. Treat it like multiplayer. Extra 50 health and you can stack a trauma kit on it. Because level 1 is useless. Level 1 is basically like strapping a pillow to yourself. But level 3 it is basically juggernaut from the old Call of Duty. Let's be honest. It is basically juggernaut. You can't be killed if you have level 3. Unless you are terrible and you're getting ganged up on. I have been killed level 3. I will admit that. But I'm a noob. What do you expect? So yeah, take out level 1 and level 3. Have level 2. Stack 50 health on top of it. Done. That is the best way to solve that issue. And the last issue is, how do you keep it fresh? This is a big issue. How do you keep it fresh? Because if you put another map in... Is going to divide the community. If you make it bigger, you need to put more players in. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know what, how 
they can do it. Fortnite gives free content every month or so. They add little things into it. I don't think they necessarily change the map, but there's new little things in it. Like, a lot of them are skins, and I get that. But you need to find a way for people to keep coming back to your game, while you're just going to split the community. So, I, I can't give any recommendations how to do it, because I don't know how Fortnite do it. I don't know how PUBG do it. I don't know how H1Z1 do it. All I know is they're going to have time-based events such as Halloween, Christmas, Easter, all that stuff. But I can't actually say how they're going to do it. Let me know what you think of Blackout. How long did you play it for? How many games did you have? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What did you like? What didn't you like? Any improvements they can make? I'm making a decision soon of what I should post for the next couple of weeks because I have a lot of old gameplays and some Black Ops 4. So there might be some gameplays that you're not interested in, I do apologise. But come October, it'll be all Black Ops 4. Hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did. I'll see you all later.